What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install community online tools to your Nitrado Daisy PC server. To start with, you need to come over here to Nitrado.net, grab you a Daisy PC server, and we are going to need FileZilla FTP, File Transfer Protocol. We'll have the link in the description and in the Discord, but you're going to need to download this to interact with your server files. Once you have FileZilla installed, you're going to click on File, you're going to click on Site Manager. If you don't already have your server connected, you're going to scroll to the bottom of your Nitrado dashboard to get your FTP credentials. You're going to copy this information into here, and you're going to connect to your server. I've already done this. Simply going to connect. It's going to do a little dance and take a second, and then you will see your server files pop up over here. So go to your Steam Workshop and subscribe to Daisy Community Online Tools. It's going to download. And this has a supporting mod that is required. So we're going to click that. We're also going to subscribe to that one. And it is going to download. Once we have both of those mods downloaded, Open up your Daisy launcher. It's going to prompt you that those mods were installed. If it doesn't prompt you, because I already have them installed, you're going to find them on your list. Mine are already selected. But hit the drop down menu, click these three dots. You're going to click Open Folder in Windows Explorer. This is just your file browser. And you will see that you have Community Online Tools, and you should have CF as well. So go ahead and go back to your FileZilla. Find your Workshop folder over here in this top box on the left. It's going to show you the contents of that folder over here on the left at the bottom. Locate the mods that you want to install. Community Online Tools and CF for this example. Over here on the server side, open up your main folder and this is where we install our mods. I've installed one from a previous video. Simply right click the mod, upload the entire mod. It's going to do a little dance. When it's done, it should pop up a message over here on the right to let you know that it has been installed. From there, open this folder on the left and the keys folder, and you're going to open the keys folder to your server side. You can drag and drop this, or you can right click and click upload. It's already there, so it'll overwrite. Go back to your main server directory over here, back to your workshop directory over here. We're going to go to our next mod, the Community Online Tools. You're going to right click that mod, click Upload. It's going to do another dance. When it's done, it'll pop up a message down here. Same drill, open it, open your keys, open the keys to your server. These are the same key, just to be safe, I always overwrite it regardless. Peace of mind. And now we have those mods installed. But to get the admin abilities out of the community online tools, you need to set up the config, which doesn't exist yet. Before we do that, we have to actually restart our server and log into our server so it registers a config. So over here on our Nitrado, we're going to go to our general page of our server and scroll down here to the bottom where we type in our mods. These are the call lines that reference those folders. 
So we need community online tools to be added. You can lightly click a file so it'll highlight so you can change it. You don't want to change it, but control C will let you copy it. Come over here, paste that in, semicolon in between each mod. And we're going to do the same thing for the CF, Community Framework. Control C to copy the name, or you can just type it in. And I put those two first, as those are the two main mods. And then you're going to click Save Changes. From there, we need to restart our server. So we're going to open our launcher and join our server. Server, community. You can search for your server, give it some time, and it should pop up over here. When your server pops up, simply click join. It's going to tell you what mods are on the server. You're going to click this red button here, so it'll select the mods for you and install them if you don't have them, if you're just a user of the server. But select that. It'll load those mods for you and get you in the server. Now that we're in the server, the server should have installed the mod and prompted a config file to be created. Hitting the Y key would bring up our menu, but as you see, none of this stuff works because we are not an admin. I'll show you how to do that. So now that we've installed the mod and connected to our server again, we're going to open FileZilla again, connect back to our server. This refreshes the connection as it's just added some things for us if we've installed it correctly. Open up your main directory. You'll see your mods here. Go to the config. And now we have a couple new folders. We want the permissions framework and we want the players. And inside here, we're going to take the file that's in there, copy it out, put it on my desktop, open this thing on up. You'll see this is what you get. So we want to change what this file is. This says everyone. We want it to say admin. This way you get access to the admin tools. But we're not done yet. We need to rename this JSON file as our Steam ID. So open up Steam, go to your profile, click edit your profile. Here where you can get a custom URL, delete if you have a custom and you'll notice this changes. This is your Steam ID. So copy that number, control C, and rename this file as your steamid.json. Inside of it, we renamed it to be admin. Now we're simply going to put that file right back in the players folder of the permission framework of the config. You see it here now. Go back to your Nitrado, restart the server once again. Now we're loaded back into our server. The prompts still don't work because we are not quite admin yet. But that player ID.json has now been registered into the permissions folder. And this is what it's going to register from now on when we log back in. So we have to log back out and back in a third time. Now we simply restart the server. And we'll load in and see what's happening. To access the community online tools, tap your end key above the arrows. Now tap your Y key to access the community online tools tools. Again, from here, you can do vehicle spawning, object spawning. You can teleport around. You can change the weather to whatever you would like it to be. And if you hit the insert key above the delete key above your arrows on your keyboard, you will go into free cam. And you can fly around wherever you would like. 
From there, tap the Y key, player management, and teleport to me. And now we are teleported here. Just a few little shortcuts along the way. So to give a quick recap, we go to Steam, we subscribe to Community Online Tools and CF, Community Framework. And then we installed those mods via FTP FileZilla to our Nitrato server. We restarted our server, loaded into our server so it would develop the config for the permissions framework for the Community Online Tools. We logged out. We got our Steam ID, made it a .json, referencing the roles, admin. And then we logged back into the server. What that did was tell that JSON file in the players folder, which is no longer here, to reference the roles as what it's tagged as, admin. And then this has the permissions for each role. By logging in the second time, it translated our steamid.json into a permission file. From there, we log back in a third time to get access to our tools. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you learned some shit. I'm out.